Earlier this week, I, I, I want to. I feel like this was this week. Sometimes shit go by a little bit too quick, but uh-huh. especially with news nowadays, um, yeah. shit be circulating, and it's just like, yo, like, oh, that was last week. Mm-hmm. But it, anyway, um, it, they had a little graphic that had came out. Mm-hmm. Whoever this chick is, I'm not gonna shout her out because she's probably more popping than we is on social media. Mm-hmm. But she, <laughs> we hating, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so um, she came out and and posted this graphic, uh-huh. and the the, the the first line in there says Jay Z never ran rap. Then she goes through the years. She say 95, 96 was Tupac, 97 was Big, 98 was DMX, 99 to 01 was Eminem. 02 and 03 was Nelly. 03 to 05 was 50. 06 Kanye. 07 to 11 was Lil Wayne. And 11 to 17 was Drake. Yeah. How you feel about that shit? I feel like this chick is a hater. Mm. A Jay Z hater. Okay. At that. So if Jay Z. if uh, so, I feel like the way the list is constructed, you have to be a hater to have constructed this list this way. Okay. So when, when you look at the list, right? Yeah. Um and and this by no means it's just a conversation piece. Yeah, this, right, whoever right. this bitch is, I don't know. Right, she, she ain't gotta be a bitch. What's up with you, man? Hey, man. Hey. All right. <laughs> let's, let's whoever, whoever, whoever shorty is, yeah. We we don't know. Whatever. Yeah. All right. So <laughs> for the not that we know every single album yeah. that came out mm. or we you know what I'm saying yeah. whatever it is. Yeah. If you had to choose one person. Mm. For every single year mm-hmm. that from 95 until now, mm-hmm. was there any year where you said Jay-Z was the shit over everybody else? Like, no question, Jay-Z was it that year. I mean, look, it, it's... Because we, we, before, yeah, you, yeah. before you answer that, because yeah. we have to set exactly where we talk, like how... We gonna talk about this list. Yeah, all right. So, I mean, before we get into that, like, uh, what was what, what's let's say ran? What's ran? Because th- let's say he, he, Jay Z never ran hip hop. Right? When ne- yeah, never ran rap. When I say ran, I'm saying most popular. Uh-huh. I'm saying that dude where okay, yo, we most need a popular. Hit. We need a, we need a hit. We need a hit. We we coming to Jay Z to get this hit. Like uh-huh. can't lose. Can't basically. lose. Okay, and what else? I mean, let, let, just let, let's keep it. Under the definition of ran, like we don't have to make it about Jay Z. Yeah. What do you consider to be running? I was the shit this year. Uh huh. I can't lose. I can't lose. Everybody came to me for hits. Uh huh. Everybody either wanted to get on a song with me uh-huh. or wanted me featured on a song. Uh-huh. Sold mad records. So then Jay Z ran every year. <laughs> Jay Z ran every year, bro. You got life fucked up. Baby. You got life fucked up if you don't think so. Okay. HOV, not- I got my own lane already. He don't need to be in these dudes' lane. Okay. He had his own lane. Okay, let's start it <clears throat> off. Let's start yeah. it off. Where this list started off. Ninety five, yeah. ninety six. She got Tupac down. Okay. When did Jay Z come out? About ninety five, ninety six. Ninety six. Reasonable doubt came out. Okay. Mm-hmm. So ninety six reasonable doubt came out, uh-huh. and when reasonable doubt came out, yeah, was reasonable doubt popping when it came out? Not probably not down here in South Florida, but in New York, reasonable doubt was the shit. Okay, okay, so that's regional though. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So we talking about total, okay, rap music. Period. All right. So can we say ninety five, ninety six? Jay Z ran shit. Nah, we could say no. All right. So is it acceptable to say Pac ran it that year? Pop big or whichever one you want to give it to, but that's the problem. That's the problem with this list. That's the problem I have with this list because uh-huh. there was never really a year when no one person ran it, other than maybe Drake. We could give it to. I disagree. Okay, so give me a year that you feel that somebody ran hip hop. I I agree with most of the, the 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 what this list is saying. Okay, so you saying okay, so let's let's go ahead. Okay, so ninety six, early when Jay Z came out. So what's what what, what year falls that? Ninety eight, what? Ninety seven. Ninety seven. So after ninety five, ninety six, you can say Tupac. I kind of agree with that. Me against mm-hmm. the world mm-hmm. came out around ninety five. Mm-hmm. Um, Pac had got locked up. Came back with uh, mm-hmm. all eyes on me. Mm-hmm. He was dissing Biggie. Yeah. This that Pac couldn't lose. Yeah, we 95, knew 96. we knew Biggie and Pac was was that shit. Okay, at that time we know that. All right, so, so then, there's no room for Jay Z in that in, in that in that that time frame. All right, that's acceptable. Okay, so now we are talking about 97, right? Yeah. So Big died not March 9th, 97, right? Okay. 
So his album came out af- after he died. Mm-hmm. He was the biggest thing in hip hop that year. Okay. In 97 when he died. Right. So is it okay to say Big Ran 97? Well, it's okay to say, but I think Mace album dropped around that time too. Uh, Mace album. Harlem World. Ooh, I want to say it wasn't 97. Okay. All right. I want to say it probably was. You, you, hey, you might, you might be right. I mean, we okay. could we could we could look it up okay. while we're talking at the same time too. Yeah. But it, it, maybe, okay. maybe, maybe towards the end of that year, mm. um, Mace album dropped. Mm. But at that time, um, okay, so big or Mace that year? Okay, is that okay to say big or yeah, Mace? Big Mace on the locks, bro. That's what I'm trying to say. There was always a Mace album dropped in ninety seven. What year? What what month? Did October twenty eighth, nineteen ninety seven. Okay, so towards the end. All right. Okay. So. You you got to give big that that year for the for the most part. All right, we'll because those was those okay. was the two biggest albums that dropped that year. Okay, what was Jay Z doing ninety seven? What 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 kind of music like what album did they did, did Jay drop in ninety seven? I don't because uh, volume one was trash, bro. Okay, all right, well give me that. <laughs> okay, volume one was trash. Okay, go ahead. When did when did volume one come out? Uh, I believe it was around that time Yeah around 97 90 Cause I think volume 2 Came out in 98 so. Okay so we can't give yeah. them 95, 96 or 97 Yeah Yeah Okay my, Yeah my lifetime Volume 1 97 Okay 98 mm-hmm. DMX DMX Eminem There was a lot of artists out The Eminem at that didn't time. come out until 99 Okay but there was a lot of artists out During that time frame I agree but mm-hmm. we talk about the niggas that was on top The niggas okay. that was just like They was fucking popping All right. I remember DMX dropped two albums that year He dropped okay. the, the, the Right 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 The first two albums Blood of my, Fresh of my flesh and mm-hmm. you know whatever so okay. DMX was I'm the a, shit. Listen, we don't we don't got to argue all that. Let's just let's just jump forward because okay, I jump. feel like those weren't the years that um uh Jay Z was becoming Jay Z. I think like Hard Knock Life pretty much was when we was like okay. Oh, okay. When did Hard Knock Life come? That's ninety eight. But DMX dropped in ninety eight. Okay, and then there there's Jay Z. Yes. But Jay Z wasn't on top of the game in '98. Dmx was on top of the game in '98. Are we saying that because that's when Jay Z dropped? That's when um, the Annie song dropped. That's when Jay Z was killing all the mixtapes and all that. I agree. This, yeah, I agree that he was doing his thing. Okay, regionally in New York. All right. Because it, to be honest with you, man, you talk you talk to a lot of cats outside mm. of New York. Remember. Mm. Yes, I was born in Jersey, but I was raised down here in the okay. South. Okay, all right. right. So even 98 in the South down here, you're probably talking about cash money all right. around that time. Okay. Or not not even cash money, you're talking about no limit around that time okay. down here in the South. Yeah, we, that's still again regional, okay. Yeah. But we're saying but ran rap. Yes, entirely. Ran rap. Like, all right. like couldn't lose 98. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. Jay-Z could not lose after Hard Not Life dropped. Okay, so would you say that Jay Z was more popular than DMX in 1998? Uh, I think he was on par with uh, J- uh, DMX. You think Jay Z was just as popular as DMX yes. in 98? Yes, I would definitely. have to disagree with that. Okay, and that's that's okay. But <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. You can, but he was to me. He definitely was. When Annie, when that song Annie dropped, and Jay Z started doing some of the things he was doing. That's that song was bubbling. That song, you know what I'm saying? That was a hard album. Okay. All right. So we give the all right. So we we could okay. maybe give him or nah ninety eight. Where do we go after that? <laughs> so hold on. okay, let's, let's stick with ninety eight for a second. All right. So would you think? Would you say that? And wait, wait. Before we go forward, again, H O V. I got my own lane already. He ran rap. Period. So this is just arguing semantics, but we could go ahead and continue. All right. So yeah. <laughs> Jay Z in '98 dropped Volume Two. That right. was that was basically his most successful album. Yeah. Right. So you can say between Volume Two and maybe Blueprint, even though we're not there yet. Okay. Volume Two, Blueprint, maybe All right. Fade to uh, what is it? Fade to Black. Yeah. Those is like his three most popping albums ever. Mm-hmm. Right, okay. 
But definitely volume two is what put Jay Jay Z on the map. All right. As yeah. a songwriter, right. as a artist, as this, as that, da da da. And I then agree. nine and then ninety eight, it started making cats go back to ninety six to check out Reasonable Doubt because they felt like yeah. volume two was so dope. Are right, we, right. we in agreements there? We we agree there. Yeah. All right, so Remember 98 now, that's the time when niggas was still buying CDs and mm-hmm. just coming up off, stop buying cassettes and shit, right? Yeah. So, niggas had to actually go to the store to go and buy these fucking albums. Right. More people went to buy both of DMX's album mm-hmm. than they did Jay-Z's album. Because okay. if I'm not mistaken, I think Volume 2 might have sold like Maybe three million, mm-hmm. three to you know. I don't think it's sold. I don't think it sold more than five. Mm-hmm. J, DMX first album sold, I think, six to eight somewhere mm-hmm. around there. Yeah, and then also his second album, which dropped the same year, eight mm-hmm. months later, I think that one sold like three or something oh, like man. that. This nigga do. This nigga is definitely a Jay Z hater. I'm finding out. Okay, go ahead. I though. mean, I mean, okay, you be okay, doing, you're a, doing a lot of digging a, right now to, a, to prove no, an irrelevant fact, no, or I'm, irrelevant statement. I was, I was definitely a Jay Z hater at that time. Uh huh. I'm, I'm not a Jay Z hater anymore. All but right. I, to, so, to all be right, honest so with you, we, we, we say Jay Z is the 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 king of rap right now. Would we say that right now? No. Yeah. So, I mean, overall. Hell no. Overall, on the grand scheme of things, so Jay Z's not number one right now. Hell no. So who is Kendrick? Kendrick is. I'm talking about dog. I'm talking about all catalogs combined right now. Oh, he the, he the goat right now. Okay, so what are we what are we arguing this for? The, the <laughs> he caption. is the goat. Kendrick has a long way to go the, to even be on this man's level. I agree with you one thousand so, percent. If we're gonna say he never ran rap for all those years, how do you become the goat for doing for, for, uh, off of that? With Jay Z, it's more than just rap. It's a lot of business moves. It's, I'm not even talking it's, about it's, business. It's, I'm not talking about financial. I'm talk, talking about Beyonce. I'm talking about music quality, qu- quality of album, and relevancy for that duration of time. Who has done that musically, except for in a different genre? <clears throat> In hip hop from '96 until now, nobody, I'm, nobody, not even any. And LL Cool J has stayed around a long time, but he has not maintained the same relevancy as Jay Z. No. So that's 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 your own lane. We're not gonna argue about if you ran a year or not, nah, a year or two or not, nah, or if another drop the artist drop or not. Nah. He had a song. And he was like, "Yo, standing ovation." Gave props to all them dudes that dropped. But yo, HOV, I got my own lane already. Like he don't need to be compared to none of these cats. I feel what you're saying, and I see you caping for Jay Z. I'm fine. caping for. I'm that's caping right. for what's real, bro. <laughs> I'm caping for what's real. The man's go. I was a Jay Z hater. I want to be one. But I can't. You was a Jay Z hater. I, 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 I was. When? I when was that? I was a Jay Z hater, right, right around the, the whole Nas beef thing. Like I was rooting for Nas, like all the way. Like I, you know, what I'm saying. Even after that, I was like, man. But I, you know, what I'm saying after putting out album after album, and you know, what I'm saying digging into the content that he digs into, and you know, what I'm saying coming up with the flows that he comes up with, and mm-hmm. still, I don't feel like he gives fillers. He's he's rapping. Yeah. And I'm like, yo, I gotta give it to this man. Yes. So okay, and yeah. I'm, I'm gonna make this argument. And I'm, I'm gonna draw the, the only year I probably I'm give a, is the, the year Nelly dropped. Like Nelly killed everybody. Okay, and then Eminem killed everybody also. But Nelly, then Nelly would have killed Eminem too, because Nelly Nelly went diamond, bro, like three times yes. diamond. And 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 and, <laughs> and basically they have that on here because do, Eminem do they was even have Nelly on there. Or they yeah, Nelly on there. Okay, yeah. Right. So. Okay, so what you talking about right now? And 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 I, I know a lot of people that's listening they, to this. They don't even have Jeezy, Rick Ross on that damn list. What kind of list is this? But Jeezy and Rick Ross ain't never real. They wasn't never really running rap like that, bro. Jeezy and Ross never ran it. No, no, never. No. Are you sure about that? I'm sure about that. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm sure about. I that, don't know. Man. There's a lot of names that's missing off that list, man. Well, I, Ludacris. Well, well, is Luda even on that? Luda ain't, Luda ain't on there. And Luda ja Rule ain't, ain't on there. Ja Rule ain't on there. So what I'm saying. So I'm saying this list sounds like somebody that's a Jay Z hater trying to find an angle to kind of find something to shit on Jay Z about. I could, I could, I could probably agree with you on that one. Uh huh. 
But what I guess what I'm saying is, regardless of what this person said, who yeah. was on top at the time, if you go from 95 mm-hmm. until now, 2017, mm-hmm. can you really, really go back to any one specific year? Uh-huh. Maybe Blueprint year, and what? then and 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 if I'm not mistaken, Eminem had dropped either. The Blueprint was what 01? Yeah. So Eminem dropped Marshall Mathers LP that that year. That was fucking ten million sold. Or yeah, Blueprint, I think, was more. like 02. He came out with that Unplug album around 01, and um, he also did a. Uh, okay, so remember the yeah. remember the lines where where the Jay-Z, best of rem- both. Oh, go ahead. Remember yeah. the remember the line, and and those didn't those didn't sell well. You know what I mean? Mm. Those was dope albums. The first yeah, one, Blueprint especially. Yeah, Blueprint was 01. You're right. You're right. So with, with that now, mm-hmm. um, fuck, I, was, I just had a train. Train of thought and I lost it. Yeah, you should man. Just <laughs> leave that shit there where it's at, bro. Don't find that shit back. <laughs> Wherever that thought is, let that make. shit stay there, man. So, hey. but, but hold on. So, because, because, all right, all right, not to cut you off, but like, we really can't say, I really can't say, like, somebody definitively, other than Drake, I think Drake is the only one I've seen run shit for a while. Lil Wayne, too. He had a run. Yeah, Lil Wayne and Lil is Wayne. Wayne is on there from Wayne's 07 on, right, 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 right. Because he pull that shit up in front of you. Man, that that shit, shit, dude, I, I don't want that shit on nothing I got. <laughs> 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 so you got 50 on there. Yeah, 50. You got Nelly and you got Eminem. Uh-huh. So basically, what I'm asking oh, you. Oh, yeah, dude, 50 did run it for a while. Exactly. What I'm asking you is artist alone, just him being an artist alone. Yeah. Is there any year where you could not saying that he rapped better than anybody or or rapped better than everybody or whatever the case is? I'm just saying, is there any one year where you could say, you know what, this was Jay Z's year over everybody in rap? Mm. Over everybody in rap, I would have to say, ah oh, man, and 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 that's not taking away yeah. our love for because like, like yeah. I said, I didn't. I didn't start fucking with Jay-Z until volume three. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, and then I went back and I was just like, okay, I was hating. All right, I, so I, who, I, I who, who did Jay. they claim was running in 03? Nelly? Yeah. Okay. Nelly, right. 04? 04, they got uh, 50. 50, yeah. So, 03 to, to 05, they got 50. Mm-hmm. Then they got Kanye. Kanye? In 06. Kanye ran it over Jay-Z? Uh, Kanye was a slow burn, bro. When, Kanye definitely year, was a slow burn. Was so there's Kanye? no way to say Kanye ran it for because he was a slow burn. Like I'm not saying Kanye College Dropout wasn't a classic album, mm-hmm. but I don't feel like College College Drop, Dropout took over that quickly. Like I feel like Kanye the, College Dropout came out 06. Yeah, I believe so. So what did what did Jay Z drop in 06? 06 Kingdom Come. Oh shit, you. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, kid, oh, kid don't come. I can't, I can't defend that joke right. right there. Oh All right. man, can't defend that. <laughs> so even if right there. so even if it's not Kanye, right, so let's, right, let's let's go let's go to the Black Album then, because the Black Album that to me was a classic. So well, yeah, Black, that came out. The Black Album was um oh three, oh three. So that was around fifty time. The Black Album then I would have to give him the Black Album then. So you think that the black album? You, you, Let me see. Hi. Right, so all right, all right, let's see. Let's see. When when did the black album drop? What time of the year? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not so sure. Black um, album. I think it was probably mid right, to late so, September. Yeah. Or something yeah. Like so that. November 14, 2003. Right. Okay. The black album. So so that would uh, take him over until 04 a bit, I guess. And who, yeah. who, who did they say ran in 04? 50. 50. So let's see here. Because remember, 50 in 03 okay. or whenever his album dropped, yeah. he came out with that. He came to Massacre the, the year mm-hmm. right after. Then mm-hmm. he came out with G-Unit and this and that. And he was mm-hmm. on every fucking feature. If you wanted a fucking hit, you got either on 50 joint or you put 50 on your joint. Mm-hmm. I don't feel like 50 had a lot of features, man. He 50 definitely had a lot of features, bro. Okay, so hit me with a couple of features he did. He had a feature with Snoop Dogg that was on his album, I, I remember. Who did 50 have features with, bro? Oh, my God. I got to look it up and see. I don't feel like 50 had a bunch of fe- features. I feel like 50 was rocking with G-Unit more so than he was doing features. I don't remember 50 being feature heavy. 
I, I, I so think. he wasn't the sought after guy because he, you know what I'm saying? So Get Rich or Die Trying uh, dropped, uh, let me see here, February 2003. So mm-hmm. I got to give Get Rich 2003 to uh, 50, but I can't give 04 to, to 50. 04 got to go to Jay Z. When did the game album come out? I don't give a fuck. Hate it, I love it. Yeah, that, that was one of, uh, one of his bigger features. Yeah. Hate it, I love it. That was it on the team. That's the team, though. That's what I'm trying to say. Like you say, sought after features. Like other artists are looking towards this man to get themselves bubbling. That wasn't fifty. Okay, I mean, for those of y'all that's watching, you know, we're not gonna pause the podcast and, to see <laughs> to see what, what your comments are. <laughs> yeah. We're not gonna pause the podcast and see what uh, you know features that Fifty Cent had and all of that shit. Mm-hmm. But I'm pretty sure that he was sought after at, at that time. Where you could really come to the conclusion that Fifty was running shit during that time. This nigga just put the argument in your mouth. Like I'm sure you're gonna come to that conclusion. Like no, Fifty was so not that sort of after. He was on what's this? O three. He was on the Obi Trice joint. Um, mm-hmm. I forgot what song that was. I'm talking about off his camp. This is all people on his camp. Obi off Trice wasn't camp. necessarily Fifty. That's cent. Eminem though. True. So that's that's his camp. Mm. Who else we got? Who we got? We got ain't got, got nobody. Got. Anybody want to fucking rap with his ass? <laughs> 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 this nigga wasn't on shit. This nigga <laughs> ain't no fifty, son. I ain't, ain't no fifty, but he wasn't on shit. Lil Kim Magic Stick. That was on whose whose album was that on? That was, that on, was Kim? on Lil Kim's album. I think they did that. I think I think they doubled that song down. What do you they mean? They might have put that song on both fucking albums. Did they? I, yo, I stopped listening to Fifty after Get Rich or Die Trying. I didn't listen to Power the, uh, Power of the Dollar. Those are my two favorite joints. After that, like Massacre and all that, they could have that. Damn, son. Uh, what is it? Uh, I whip your head, boy. That was on the soundtrack. Gets right. Uh, okay, so let's I give mean, him. Let's give him the one song, like Magic Stick. Let's give him that song. Uh, 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 uh. But I mean, he was uh, nah. Right. He wasn't sought after as a featured artist. Did he? Okay, so okay. you saying okay. sought after? Let's say sales, uh, sales. All right. Okay. So did he sell more than Jay Z in oh three? But o- not oh not oh four. Nigga, fucking get rich or die trying went fucking ten times platinum. That's oh three, my G. Okay, okay. So oh four when we massacre gotta get dropped, it. that shit went like five or six times platinum. And I'm sure Jay Z went platinum too. I can't. I don't have the. the he didn't go five or six. We don't know. We know that he. You didn't give go. him fifty five or six. We don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the facts? You got that in front of you? <laughs> so you just throwing out five or ten times platinum and just saying that. I remember this shit, man. You remember nothing. I ain't gotta man. go back and do research yes, when I'm a motherfucking hip hop encyclopedia, nigga. All right, nigga. So why you, why you can't give Jay Z? I don't know. You know, I don't know what he did, but it wasn't that. That's not a good answer. Fuck Jay Z. You wasn't doing shit, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man! Like, yo, <laughs> Jay Z ran rap. Period. Like, it doesn't, right. doesn't matter. So, without going, he doesn't th- have to be compared to these other dudes, man. They wasn't on his level, man. All right, without going through, like you, like, like Jay Z said say- in that interview, what he did. What was the, who's that white black dude he interviewed with when he's crossing his legs? He's like, <laughs> yeah, I know what you're talking about. I okay. constant, I focus on forever. <laughs> All right, and he focused on forever, bro. Jay Z ain't never ran no year in rap. He might be the goat. I could I could rock with that. If you say Jay Z is the greatest, if MC you are the goat, all if the time, you are the goat, okay. So this was then the, you this, ran I, every this thing. This was this was the analogy that I was gonna go back to. All right, right? and I, like I said, a lot of people's gonna hate me for this shit. Yeah. If you look at LeBron's career, uh huh. Okay. If you look at LeBron's career, yeah. Yes, with LeBron, you can look at him and say that, okay, definitely X, Y, and Z years, he was definitely the best player in the game or whatever. But from beginning to end, you could say, all right, he just stayed consistent the entire time. Mm -hmm. He ain't never fall off. Jay-Z, if I think about his career, even Kingdom Come, people might consider that a fall off album or whatever. We ain't gonna call it fall off. We say it's a miss. But okay, not a fall there you off. go. There I don't you feel go. like he Jay Z ever fell off. Okay, he might so have missed, but it wasn't a fall off. I agree. So mm-hmm. with with that now, with LeBron, pretty much the, his entire career, he's been consistent. Mm-hmm. So when it comes down to the end of it, when we talking about consistent, could, he lost championships. 
So are we saying consistency and, and, is is not winning? And we'll call that a, we'll call that a mishap and not a fall. Okay, we miss. All right. We call that a miss and not a fall off. Right. Okay. So at the end of his career, you can make shit. You can make an argument right now for LeBron to be goat. Okay. Same thing with Jay Z. You can make the argument for 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 him to be goat. But then you can go back and say, you know what? Back in such and such year, Shaq was better than LeBron. Back in this year. Uh, Westbrook was better than LeBron last year or you know what I mean that don't take away from his greatness that don't take away from Jay-Z's greatness yes it does all, yes it no, does it, doesn't. Yes, it, it does. don't take you away why. from Jay-Z Z greatness <laughs> all it's saying is that it's not saying this dude might have been on it, top at the time but Jay-Z was still great so why you have, but why why would somebody need to come up with that why but, is that a fact because why um, is that statement that somebody needs to make because, unless you are a jay-z hater I, you, you have, have to, to hate be, jay-z you don't have to, to sit be a there jay-z hater. and consider something like this you don't have to be a yes jay-z you do. Hater to do that man you would have to be because this is a relevant point all right let's move on moving on <laughs> <laughs> 